evening. It's Tuesday, August 6th, and you're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket as it awaits at 7.23 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. On today's mission, we will be flying Spacecom's Amos 17, a geostationary communications satellite which will provide internet, phone, and secure communications to customers in the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Guide power and climb train up. Vehicle is supersonic. Coming up on one minute into flight, we're getting ready for maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard the call out. We're through the region of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle going supersonic as we leave the denser parts of the lower Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 trajectory looks good. All nine Merlin engines are at power. Everything looking good for Falcon 9. We're heading due east from Cape Canaveral, headed to the first of two orbits planned for today. Nice view from the onboard camera looking back at the plume slowly expanding as we leave the atmosphere. The plume will get larger as we get out to the vacuum of space. Now today, first stage shutdown is planned for about T plus 2 minutes 45 seconds. We won't be recovering the first stage today, so that leaves more and propellant to chill. burn to achieve the required orbit for the satellite. If you compare that to last week's CRS-18 resupply flight to the space station, on that mission, the first stage shut down almost half a minute sooner than today. We needed to reserve enough propellant to be able to turn the first stage and return it all the way back to the launch site. Now coming up quickly in 20 seconds, a sequence of events, main engine cut off, the nine main engines shut down, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine coming up in just under 15 seconds. AVI stage separation confirmed. We've had successful ignition of the second stage engine. The Merlin Vacuum D engine is up at power. Turbine speed Stage looks one, good. You can see the nozzle beginning to glow red. A tradition Stage for two, the upper nominal stage. Trajectory. First stage has completed its mission. It's falling back to Earth. As we said, we won't recover it. Coming up next, fairing separation out in the vacuum of space. You guys, fairing separation confirmed. Nice view in the late afternoon, sun shining on the payload fairing. The second stage has separated the payload fairing around the Amos 17 spacecraft as we're now in the vacuum of space. Right now, Merlin vacuum engine continues to be on power. 
Trajectory looks good. Stage two is right in the middle of the predicted path. Avionics reports their systems are nominal. So coming up, four minutes and 15 seconds, Mark, we are go on Falcon 9 carrying Amos 17 to the parking orbit, the first of two orbits for today. And we have confirmation that second engine cutoff has occurred and that we are in good orbit. And recognition. We've got good ignition. Chamber pressure is on target. Now this burn is going to last about one minute. Getting ready for shutdown of the second stage engine. In fact, shutdown. We've got a good shutdown. Waiting for the orbit call out now. Good view of the Amos 17 satellite from the camera atop the second stage. Waiting for payload separation event. AVI confirms spacecraft separation. 